What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. We have finished Breaking Bad, which means we have to watch the El Camino movie, of course. Uh, this came out in 2019. Breaking Bad ended in 2013. So, Blake, Whoa. yeah, six year gap. You may notice some differences uh, between the show and the movie. We'll see what you pick okay. up on. But uh, since finishing Breaking Bad, have you thought about it any? Uh, quite a bit. A, we didn't have to record it, which is nice. Um, not that I didn't enjoy recording Breaking Bad, but it's always nice when we take something off the plate. Our, our schedule we're so busy. is packed. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think I'll stick by my guns when I say, like, that was the perfect ending for a character like Walt in the sense of, like, he was an irredeemable character that redeemed himself in his own image in his own eyes and like will he always be this heisenberg monster yes but at the end of the day like you know that's just what he is um so i really enjoyed that i really enjoyed his ending i've really enjoyed kind of looking back throughout at the show at, at its high points and its low points um and now I'm really excited. I did not know that it was a six-year time gap yeah. in production. Um, so I'm very glad. I kind of figured they just rolled right into this. So I'm very glad that they actually did wind up making this movie because I imagine it might not have been in the cards immediately now that I know that there was a six-year gap in release. So I'm very excited to see what they come up with. Again, I don't know anything. Obviously, I knew Jesse lived, and when I saw the El Camino, I'm like, oh, that's where the name comes from. But I do not know anything about this movie, so I'm really looking forward to watching it. Same here. I saw it once back when it came out, but a memory is not the best. So while I remember... Oh, Kojo. Yeah. I mean, we got the same name, bro. What do you expect? Um, <laughs> I remember the main points, but there's going to be a lot of little things. Where it's like I'm watching it for the first time, which I always love. So sweet. You're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Hope you're ready. If you are, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the noty bell, check the description below the video for a link to our Patreon. You can get the full length reaction over there. And we have early access to some series of movies. Uh, and now that Breaking Bad is done on early access, we will be rolling into American Horror Story. That'll be dropping on Tuesday. So Make sure to show up for that if you're interested in it. We have links to our social media and a Discord you can join. Come chat with us. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, Netflix picked it up. Big W. Like Red Dead 2 layout. Yeah, it does. Oh. Mike? You know he's not going to be happy. No. No, I suspect Mike? he won't. Not him, not me. The actor that plays Mike is still alive, right? I believe so. Jonathan oh, no. Banks. So what are you going to do with all that money? Oh, this is them talking about getting out. Teenage retiree. You'll be living <laughs> the dream. Doesn't matter, I'm not you. Seriously, come on. Like if you were my age. Just play along. Vegas, Some baby. Conversation. Alaska. That's where Mike died, Start too. Over. Yep. Start fresh. One could. Oh. Came in hot. Oh, I forgot about... What? Michelle was her name? Michelle. His girlfriend? Uh, Andrea? That... Andrea, Four. yeah. Okay. Rip mailbox. Did the first person came? Oh. <laughs> Dude, you suck. Oh, Badger. Sounds like defective and shit. W. Xbox 360. Yeah, because I'd be too distracted by you. You'd be sitting up front in your special I'm so pissed off by the way that he's like twisting the controller right now and not holding R2. He thinks he has drive. You drive like my dead grandmoms. That's disrespectful. Like, dude. R2! R2, that's how you drive in driving games. Not this. Damn. 
Why is he... What's he doing? Where is this? <laughs> what the hell, yo? <laughs> That's not a proper meal in bed in ages. Right. So Badger, in between playing Breaking Bad and now, played Ned Dornigate in NCIS, and I think I talked about this at some point. This looks so much more like Dornigate. It's crazy. Hmm. He could just turn himself in. But it's not like there's anybody else left to, like, get punished. Oh, God. Other than, I guess, Saul? Okay. Turning my volume down. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> Need to get the gun away from bro. My stuff's gonna fit you like a T, yo. <laughs> Can't help but that I'm sized for love. Yeah, you go love what? all the giraffes you want, bitch. Get throw in the shower. Get you some new clothes then. The shower make you feel a whole lot better. Oh. Truth be told, you look like you're hurting for one. Church. <laughs> no offense. Ch church? That's a throwback. Got you a clean towel, the one on the right, uh, kinda. And um, feel free to open up a new bar. Of Irish. of on the right or kind of clean. It's underneath, you know. Axe body spray. I got obsession for men. <laughs> I got Tommy Hilfinger. Feel free to use Hilfinger. any of them. Hilfinger. Use them all. <laughs> Got it for him for Christmas. I'm so glad these guys are roommates. Hey, um, maybe don't like shave and whatnot, you know, uh, be less recognizable. Jesse, Thanks, gang. Did they really, did they really keep you in a cage? Maybe not now, Badger. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, that jump scared me a little bit. Whoa, dude, why'd you looking sharp, yo? Looking yeah. sharp, yo. Looking sharp. Vacuums? Uh, it's in the back. Look, thank you so much for doing this, Joe. It's not up to money if we can make it. It's on the house. What a guy. I want to get inside, champ. Watch it, bitch. <laughs> you know, Magnets. Yeah. That was a good one. Magnets. So, <laughs> frankly, you know, they were grants, etc., etc. Low jack. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that means. Some type of device on a car. Maybe it has to do with the plate. I always wanted me an El Camino, and that's church, yo. That's church. Yo, kick in, bitch. I'm doing it. <laughs> Jesus. Take care of her, Jesse. She's a special lady. That right there is a clown call. No self-respecting outlaw would ever get caught dead in that thing. <laughs> that's why it's perfect, yo. <gasps> what do you take off, though? Hold up. Oh, first time we ever seen bro's hair. This might Keep you from getting spotted. It's big. Can't hurt, right? It's on church. That's like if I gave you my beanie. It's a big <laughs> deal. Dude, you're my hero and shit. <laughs> I love Skinny Pete. Great character, man. My God. Oh boy. Right there's a clown car. Five star wanted level. For real. It looks like Hank's car. Everything good? Oh, everything's great, yeah. brother. Bro got old. Doesn't yeah. Look his baby faces before. One thing that people always notice is he gained 
some weight. Since Breaking I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. I mean, nothing wrong with it. He's like no. Badger. What did he say? Love sized? <laughs> Regular cloud clouds. I'm anyway, so good at small talk. Like to me. <laughs> right. Good. So I guess this is after he shot Andrea? I appreciate it, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> Draw too much attention. He throws some conditioner. Ugh. Promise. It's nice of you. Yeah, Todd's such a nice guy. Who needs friends like Skinny Pete and Badger when you have Todd in your life? Yeah. I mean, drug dealers versus murderers, like, what's the real difference? So it's Todd's car. Yeah, I think you came to that realization in the finale when you saw the El okay. Camino and I was like, Todd's whip, and you're like, oh. We're on Rice Road, baby. Nice. And woman are looking into her possible connection to Walter White's criminal organization. Lydia. The woman who is hospitalized in critical condition is not expected to survive. Oh, that's what he took off the keychain. Duh. No way is he going to go all the way down the row from start to finish. That'd be unlucky. I'd say we're being unlucky. He's thorough. What if the door's just unlocked? What was that noise? Are you... I like my place. Super koozie, uh, yes. bro. It's nice. Kinda. Guy light? No. Oh, shit. What okay. the hell's this? Please don't. <laughs> Rolled up in the rug. He's done this once or twice. Oh, well, wait, wait. Uh. What, you want the belt back or something, you weirdo? Unroll it. Don't, no, come Puts on. It back on. Come on, dude. I was kidding. One left, Jesse. <laughs> this guy. What? A to Z. My Grammy gave it to me. Ah, that's why he's going back here. School, but I figured someplace pretty. She deserves that. Dude is so like do me a favor and put that away, would you? He's There's not evil, he's just an idiot. There's a whole shelf of them. I don't know if it's possible to not be evil and sure be a soup? serial killer, but I think there's a, a term for it. He's just an idiot. There's nothing like there's no malice in what he does. Oh my god, no way. Do you remember where that's There's from? There's no way that's the same tarantula. <laughs> Pretty bitchin', huh? The Drew tarantula. Wow. I like, like snow globes, nice. Oh, they emptied them out? At least APD was thorough for once. Guess I better come up with a new hiding place for my money. Oh. Never mind. They got these things called banks. <laughs> oh, is this parents? Cool. <laughs> Hello. Too many channels. An average kid. Yeah. Should jump in or something? Oh. It's even worse. So high. That's why he bought the top to the El Camino, bro. 
Oh my lord. That's absurd. Road trip with the boys. <laughs> you know he imagined singing this to Lydia. Ah, no passing zone. You see that solid yellow brother? <laughs> it means don't pass. No, bro, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's <sighs> awful. That's so beautiful outside, but the juxtaposition of the dark secrets inside of that El Camino. Right. A fly? I think I heard one earlier in his uh, apartment as well. I didn't see it, though. I'm not sure if that was the same uh, hill or mountain, whatever you want to call it, but that looks familiar to the first site that they cooked at. I don't remember seeing all these round hills. Hey, grab another pack, would ya? There should be one in the glove box. Oh, that's how I knew the gun was there. That's so dumb. Jesse, I'll, I'll take that. He's just a horrible criminal, bro. On the way home, I was gonna get us some pizza. Ice cream? Can't shoot him now. A couple large pies. Oh. Maybe a six pack of beer. Oh. Some six? Nice cold beer. Mm. Is Jesse kind of going through a reek character arc right now? I think so. Life is what you make it. Maybe Hannah Montana said that, actually. Hmm. She did say that, yeah. <laughs> this is a cool shot. It's a one-man demolition crew. Watch it be in the most, like, dumb spot ever. That he hasn't checked, like, under the bed. Hmm. Good job, Todd. He did say it was going to require a bit of engineering. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh, well, he's screwed. At least he got 5k. To be honest, I kind of saw this thing coming. I mean, well, not exactly, but kind of. <laughs> Great. Well, you too, and hey, listen. You what if they're not cops? This case? Yeah, no crazy in this house. I wonder who Perfectly normal. those figures are supposed to be. Oh. <laughs> Ah. I'm no cop killer. Tell him, Casey. Tell him how many. A good six last I counted. Six my ass. I counted eight of them down there. They both lying. On all four corners, more up the street. Give up, Pinkman. It's your only chance. God, I wish Todd would trim his nails or wash his hands or whatever. Both. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're not what cops. Now? Stay on him. Hey, how about some hand cuts, yo? What are you doing? Pain is insane. No, no. Oh. I don't know where the money is. I just came across an old note Todd Alquist wrote me. Figured it may be of interest. Well, anyway, if you need a handwriting sample for analysis, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're welcome to come examine it. Oh, it's no trouble. I got time. He just wants to help. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh God! What are you doing? Taking my half. Wow. <laughs> I'll shoot you, you son of a bitch. You pull that trigger, and you are gonna have to kill that loudmouth down the hall and every other witness in the place. So, what's it gonna be? 
could just knock you out, but. Ooh. How long is bluff? Three way split, and you got your third. That's fair. No pushing. Why do we keep looking at that statue? I got the money. Gotta keep them talking for the next five minutes. Since I got the Brita, I find the tea tastes noticeably better. <laughs> Not a problem. You got balls, I'll give you that. Can I get my gun back? You. <laughs> buy one. <laughs> Oh, he's one of them. I was wondering when you were going to remember me. What's that mean? I wonder if Mr. Vacuum Repairman is like completely skipped town once Walt. I guess Jesse never knew the exact location since he didn't take the right. uh, take the ride. He's just going down the list. It's a familiar vehicle. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. If you are in love with your Kirby, I'll bet I could get it working for no, you. No, Jesse, bad idea. Uh, be with you in a minute. Bro, I just bro, don't know bro, why they bro, can't make bro. things to last anymore. Oh, if there's any questions I can answer, just let me know. <laughs> it's the game. Jesse's getting smart. Mm hmm. He's learned a lot. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm open for business. But, um, I'm looking for a uh, Hoover Max. Pressure Max, Max Pressure Hoover, or maybe it's a Pro Max. Got like a like a filter. Hoover products are right over there on the wall behind you. Look, I don't remember the exact like password. <laughs> All right, but it was a vacuum thing. Okay, oh, fine. Here you go. One hundred twenty-five thousand. Come on, man. You know why I'm here. I can't say I do. No. Yeah, you do. You're the guy. He's the guy. Yeah, you do. You're the guy. Look, I am 96% sure that you are the guy, so why don't you just, like, admit it? <laughs> On the day of the pickup spot, you pulled up in a minivan. A red Toyota minivan. Looks like a kidney bean. Same exact minivan you got kidney parked bean. out back. You owe me for that first pickup. Yes! Oh, you're the guy! Wait, what? <laughs> this is previously owed going forward were we to would require an additional 125 this guy's scamming give him off for half i saw for half fair's fair okay fine 23 by my arithmetic you're 10,000 shy badger cash skinny p cash <laughs> May I borrow this? What are you doing? I'm gathering your belongings. No, 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 stop. They made me watch when they when they shot someone. If you I believe that you can pull on people's heartstrings, you should take your chances with the police. From where I sit, you made your own luck, as did your former partner, as did your lawyer. <laughs> I am staying right here until you help me. Please? Hi, yes. There's a young man in my store, and he refuses to leave. Hey. My name is Ed Galbraith. I own Best Quality Vacuum 2714 4th Street. I get it. But... You didn't call anybody just now. You faked it. And you want to know how I know? You got as much to lose as I do. First question they're going to ask is, what am I doing here trying to hand over a hefty bag full of cash to a dude who runs a vacuum cleaner store? What comes out then? I feel like he's not lying, though. I, th I think he definitely called. Seems like a guy that has all his bases covered. You don't just hang up on a 911 call. They won't let you. We might have called because the lady or dude or whoever is like, stay in the line with me, sir. Pathetic. Wow, you love that response time. 
<laughs> Take your money. Uh, he was spooked by my phone call, and he headed up northbound uh, on foot maybe 30 seconds ago. Can you describe him? Uh, sure I can. He was uh, young. Uh, he's white, skinny, 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Had a tattoo over his right eyebrow. Interesting. A large insect. <laughs> You know, covering himself while also trying to help Jesse out right. the best he can. Got to respect that. <laughs> he's a smart criminal. I don't even know that he's necessarily a criminal, more like just a well, instrument. He, yeah, he's a criminal technically for helping other criminals. Accomplice, that's the word I'm looking for. An accessory. This quality vacuum, how may I help you? Deal's the deal. Your word is your bond. It is. I'll get you your money. Who else said that in Breaking Bad? Was it Tuco or Deals the Deal? Your word is your bond. Hello. Hey, Mom. Jesse. It's Jesse. <laughs> How's Jake? Can I say hi to him? Jake's on a band trip to London, thank God. Jesse, Jesse where, where are, are you? you? <laughs> Do you think you guys could come get me, maybe? <sighs> We're on our way. Hey. And, uh, Probably too late to say this. I don't know if it'll mean much to you, but you did your best. And whatever happened with me, it's on me. Okay? Nobody else. Hmm. That's rough. What's he gonna do? Mug him? Oh, he's gonna. Ah! Of course, they drive Priuses. <laughs> It's like, which brick was it? <laughs> My first thought was, why would they keep money in the <laughs> backyard? And then I'm like, oh, wait, I'm dumb. The rainy day key. It's that suburban family type shit. They left in a hurry. Worried about their son. How nice. It's like a drop down in siege. <laughs> Uh oh. Change the code. What would they change it to? I was literally going to say that. That's hilarious. Of course. Wonder what it used to be. Jesse's birthday? Something else. Probably. Oh, good. 38 snub. Oh, oh. a Luger. Going international with the firearms. <laughs> I did say bro went to London. <laughs> I like the height measurements they had on the wall. It's a nice touch. No. I hope he got the money at least. Oh! He didn't steal from his parents. He stole the gun. Well, he still stole from his parents, but not money. Yeah. I got you. Good looks. Good looks. Oh, a Hummer. <laughs> a lot of people here. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. That's a big, big boy. This guy's bigger than your mom, Sean. Who's <laughs> candy? Seven fifty an hour, cash up front. Oh, hey, perks are extra. Oh, by all means. Oh, my God. I get first. You want my name is Casey. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, you can just mug him for it. I say just, like he's not seven feet tall. Done. Well, shit, you're done. I've been here 20 minutes. What'd you do? I had a fish plate up here. One in the middle, one down at the end. Look, man, I want more of those things, the sideway diagonal things, like twice as many. Those are gussets. I tried to grab it on us once already. I'm thinking he's going to figure out a way to break this thing. You kidding me? That's four inch channel iron up there. You can hang an F-150 from it and shove it back and forth like a beach ball. It's going nowhere. <laughs> oh, okay, you and, you and your big four inches. It's just this little bastard's wire. <laughs> I don't care how wiry he is. 50 bucks says he breaks this thing right here, right now. 50 plus, then you gotta put up more of those, uh, what you call like them, it's No charge. <laughs> Throwing some fish plates. It's like a kid. Here. You're on. Come on, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. I like Neil's voice, I'll give him that. 
a cool voice. I recognize him from somewhere. Sounds like he'd be a voice in an anime. Like yeah. a dub. Kind of fun, low key. Yeah, painful, but fun. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, what the hell is his name again? Or I, I forget their cousin's name. I have no idea. Orson Lannister. Sounds right. Wait for me. The Hummer's way too quiet. Yep. What is that? H two. Yeah. Oh baby, sweet revenge time. He ain't no cop killer, but he'll kill some white supremacists. Let's get it, baby. Ah, oh, classic. What better to blow your money on than some hookers and Literally. blow? And some Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Damn it. Bless you. Thanks. Oh, hey. What's up? I need more money. Oh, yeah? That three-way split didn't quite cover it for me. Well, what's he talking about? Three-way split? You mean there was a third more and you gave it to him? It's a long story. Wh what long story? When You're I gonna left, die he first, brother. Gun. Oh, he's got one now, doesn't he? So, you know, shut up. Let me handle this. <laughs> Neil, who the hell is this guy? This seems too grand. Now, how exactly do you plan on pulling this off? Being that there's five of us and one of you. I'm not here to rob you. Well, you're not. I'm asking as a, a favor. Oh, what, like charity? Seems to me this silly son of a bitch already forked over, big time. Casey, seriously, shut up. What is that? Let me see that thing, show me. Oh my God, is that a 22? You brought a 22? Don't sleep on 22. <laughs> Where'd you get that thing? 1800. I'm gone forever. Simple as that. Literally. Neil, I swear to God, if you give this piece of shit one more dump. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> My third is in a duffel bag in the top drawer of that file cabinet. What do you say? You're 22 against my 45. Winner takes all. What? Like the Wild West. Yeah, like the Wild West. What? Come on. I... Come on, man. I didn't mean this. Casey, shut the f up. <laughs> Trying to walk in. Another one. No, no, but you come on. You ready? I love it. This is some John Wick type shit. Turn Jesse like into shoot Jesse James. Else in the room. Ah! The second gun. It's like a mic play. Wow, you suck, dude. Only shot that matters. Holy shit, how drunk are you? Milk duds. <laughs> Give me your license. Driver's license, do it! Yes. I know where you live. You tell the cops about me, and I am coming for every goddamn one of you. You understand? Hey! Eisenberg Jr. The one who knocks. Go! Dude, you're on fire. Ha! <laughs> it's like the trunk of Walt's car after the M60 was done. Alright, we're in business. What do you do? Blow it up? Yo, Jesse! Eisenberg Jr. Now we're getting it. Well, there goes the whole Netflix budget, baby. Yeah. 
All right, that's edgy. Of course I miss you. Yeah? Well, do you miss me? Hello? Are you, um, how are you gonna convince me? What? RV. Do you think he was talking to him on the phone, by the way? Jane? Damn, bro. Relax. Cross contamination, brother. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Good old Jesse. Leave the picture, would you? Sorry, I can't really do that. Sure, you can. Five bucks. A whole five. Wow. It's like I'm here with Sinatra. I know, right? <laughs> Certainly went big with the pineapple. Only an asshole doesn't like pineapple. Discussion you don't? I can take it or leave it. Why that was good for you. It's got bromine. Bromelain. But close. Actually, it's not close at all. Are you gonna eat? You really eat something. No, I'm, I'm eating. I'll, I'll eat. If his head looks weird, I think it's because he has hair right now. He's wearing a cap. I think so too. Thought it looked rather square. Hey. He's alright. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> You're right? I'm fine. Good. You're Sit right. down. Right. He's got another picture. Hey. Another five dollars. We can have two pictures. There's no one that you can think of who might buy the entire amount. Uh, someone with a spare one point three million dollars only around? No. Can't say that I do. Their family is gonna get every dime they got coming to them. Mr. Ryan, no matter how long it takes, I drink. Seriously. Water. Uh, how many licks does it take to get to the center you, of a Tootsie Pop? Hmm? Uh, after this, what then? Mm. That what big ass RV college. just parked out front row. <laughs> no, what is stopping oh, holes in the from door? going to college? What would you study, you think? Hmm? Sports medicine? Sports medicine. Yeah. Or business. Hmm? That's a good one. Business and marketing. You could practically teach that class. Well, yeah. I mean, you'd be a natural. <laughs> well, yeah. With a business degree? I mean, that's handy anywhere. First step, get your GED. That's no problem. What do I need a GED for? I got my diploma. Right, right, right. Yo. You were standing right on the stage when they handed it to me. <laughs> I totally graduated high school, dick. Which is like no we'll thanks stay to Stay on the you. subject All right. here. All right. You're really lucky, you know that? You didn't have to wait your whole life to do something special. Are we going to Vermont? Is that where they were? Or was it New Hampshire? Maybe Connecticut. New Hampshire is where Walt went. New Hampshire. Well, New Hampshire's not four miles from the border, so maybe Alaska. Jesse's just in the most uncomfortable riding spot of all time. Oh, I wasn't wrong. Turtleneck! Nice. Bet it smells nice and ripe in there. For sure. This is Alaska. This is Alaska. The last frontier. Date of birth? 61084. All his maiden name? Stackhouse. Where was she Jerry? Born? Kadena Air Force Base, Okinawa, Japan. What's your social security number? 141186941. Write that down, write that down. Backward. Could you imagine that being someone's social security and they're just watching this show? I mean, they all got hacked, so. Daylight's burning, you know where you're going. Anything else? Hold on a sec. Seal this up, please. I'm going to Mexico City in about a month. I'll nail it from there. Not many of us get a chance to start fresh. Good luck, Mr. Driscoll. Driscoll? Hell no. It is Red Dead. Or said he's going to Mexico City in a month. 
about to make the drive back from Alaska to New Mexico, then New Mexico to Mexico City, then Mexico City back to New Mexico. Did you peep the name on the envelope? Yeah, Brock. I figured. Oh. Well, that's sad. I was thinking about that thing you said about the universe. Going where the universe takes you. I got chills. Right on. I think it's a cool philosophy. I was being metaphorical. It's a terrible philosophy. I've gone where the universe takes me my whole life. It's better to make those decisions for yourself. A little smile. He's got his whole life ahead of him. Hmm. Is kind that of an anticlimactic ending? I was going to say, is that similar to the ending you were hoping for for Jesse? Or what did you have envisioned? Or did you have any expectations? I think. That is, I think that's satisfying. Um, I think I would have liked to have seen his setup, like where he's posted up. Uh huh. But other than that, I mean, I don't think I can ask for much more in regard to, you know, even getting to see Jane. Uh, that looked new. It looks like something that they shot for this. Yeah. So that that's pretty cool. Um, I like him getting revenge. Oh yeah, that I was. I think good. Jesse deserves some revenge, and him getting to kind of run through. The uh, Neil and the gang get get getting to kill Neil and the gang, and then at the end of um, Breaking Bad, getting to kill Todd. Um, even though Todd wasn't necessarily the worst to Jesse, outside of him obviously killing um, Andrea. Andrea, I mean Todd. All things considered, was like I've said it for a while. Like he's just an idiot. Todd is just an idiot and he doesn't have a soul. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. But it's not like he's evil. He just doesn't have a soul. He doesn't care what's right or wrong. He just cares about Lydia and money. And, you know, <laughs> is there something wrong with that? Absolutely. But it's like it's a different level of villain than Gus, than Uncle Jack. Uh, Uncle Jack. And so I like seeing him get that revenge, but seeing more Todd fleshed out um, yeah. is also cool. Right. They went so, on a whole side quest to Todd's apartment and then we end up going back there in present time. And it's like cool seeing the parallels. I did call out um, those guys as not cops from the jump. Yeah, you're really smart. Uh, I, I'm so big brain. I know. Bigly, take notes. But um, I think it's really neat that whole start to finish from, from the beginning of this movie to the end. It was honestly like an epilogue to, to Breaking Bad. And that's pretty cool. So I think this movie... I guess because it was a Netflix movie, it didn't make money necessarily um, because it wouldn't have had a box office release, I'm assuming. I don't think it did. It has a $40,000 box office, but. Maybe it did like a obviously, limited screening. Right. It's more of a release to streaming than it is to 
Um, which I, I don't love that concept. I wish there was a way to measure uh, the success of it versus um, just like letting it release to streaming and saying, oh, these viewership numbers, good. Like, come on, dumb it down for us. Let's measure the success of it. Obviously, um, if I, you know, use my brain a little bit, I can figure it out, but I don't feel like doing that. So, right. fun fact, mm -hmm. Robert Forster, who plays the guy, um, not obviously not Mike, but the new guy, passed away when this movie released the same day. Oh, man. Unfortunate, but man. he was awesome. I, yeah. I really enjoyed his character. I don't recall ever learning his character's name. That might be by design. But yeah, but now you know it's it's Ed because Ed, he said it. Correct. Yeah, um, yeah, he said it on the phone when he was um Galbraith. calling the police. That's right. Wow, that's unfortunate. But I'm glad he was able to at least repli reprise, whoa, reprise his role. Um, because I I do I do think this series in general is very poetic. You know, I see why it's so highly regarded from start to finish. Like Vince Gilligan obviously authored just a fantastic story penned it start to finish. And it's really cool to see something like this, a movie like this revived for a franchise to give kind of that, that extra epilogue. I don't know. I'll probably read about it here in the next couple of days, but I don't know what the original plan was. Like if who was it? AMC who, what, what did breaking bad air on? It, yeah, it was AMC. It was AMC. Um, if they just like gave him a heart out and didn't renew it. I don't, I don't know what the reason was why they ended it. Or if Vince Gilligan came up with this idea after the fact, whatever it may be, I'm glad that, they had the opportunity to tell this because it's it's really like it is not. If you were to sit and watch this as like an isolated movie, it's whatever. It's not bad, but it's obviously, obviously a continuation of the show. Right. Couldn't couldn't be like it picks up right where it ends. And so it is an epilogue, right? It's a sequel yeah. in a way, but I think an epilogue is the best way to describe it. It's mm -hmm. really nice that uh, they get to tell that story this way. And really put the bow on it. And then you get to see Jane again at the end. Love that. You know, I, I, the one thing that I really dislike, and it might be in a good way, but I just really dislike that Andrea died. Yeah. Um, it's heartbreaking, it, it, man. It's heartbreaking, but at the same time, in a way, it felt kind of wasted. Um, and that's probably the design of that arc is like Jesse's one attempt at escape gets the one person he cares about killed. That's probably by design. Yeah. Um, but to me, like, I just, I really think her character deserved a little bit more of a send off. Um, whether it's getting kidnapped and killed face to face with Jesse or something a little bit more like emotional. I don't, I, I don't know what it is. I'm not a writer. And I'm not saying it's bad. I just feel like her character deserved a little bit more. Um, it's fair. And we see Jane in this and not Andrea, right? We don't see right. Andrea at all in this. Yeah, movie. you you see the picture of her and Brock, but you don't really see her. So again, I feel like her character deserved a little bit more. But outside of that, I mean, the this was the perfect send off for this show. I can't really think of anything else that I would have questions for other than again, maybe seeing Jesse's setup, yeah. seeing Saul maybe, but I know that there's a whole show that Corey won't answer Saul. if it's all a prequel. I, um, I just like to, to keep you in the dark on things for if and when we do watch it. Cause even with this, uh, you had asked me like, when does it take place? Is it a sequel? And right. I told you during, but of course, as you see now, it has multiple time periods in the movie. And I just want you to be surprised when those things happen. 
But uh, I, I, I mean, mm-hmm. go ahead. I was going to say, I will say in regards to Better, Better Call Saul, which, of course, I do want to watch with you eventually. Uh, I noticed some things when I was editing those last few episodes that um, I think either I didn't pick up on or I might have forgot in between the time that I finished Breaking Bad and started watching Better Call Saul because it was years, like probably at least five years between that. And like just having that information, it it's so cool now. Uh, I, I guess I can relate it to something in this that happened in this movie, uh, the type of thing I'm talking about. Um, events that happened in Breaking Bad that'll, that, you know, Better Call Saul will kind of tie into or elaborate on, uh, that happened in this movie as well. You remember at the beginning where Jesse was talking to Mike and they were talking about Alaska, right? And that's where mm-hmm. he ends up going. Well, um, mm-hmm. back in Breaking Bad in the episode where Jesse is supposed to, you know, get picked up by the vacuum guy. Um, and he's talking to Saul about like disappearing and where where he could go and Saul's recommending him place it and he's like I, I think I just messed up my words right there but disregard um he's like Alaska what about Alaska and it just seems random and Saul's like Alaska mm-hmm. sure <laughs> you don't really know why he said Alaska it's just kind of open ended so I, I don't know like how far ahead Vince Gilligan uh planned on that but it is tied into in this movie the whole alaska thing where he got the idea from and he ends up going there and um yeah there there's some stuff in better call saul that happens that i think you would really appreciate and you would love it just as much as breaking bad but um should i have one more talking point yeah just keep talking i'll remember it I was just really pleased with, like I said, it wasn't, it wouldn't be like a standalone movie um, without obviously the premise of the show, but, you know, getting to see Walt, getting to see um, Jane, would have loved to have seen Andrea, but whatever, not the end of the world. Um, And yeah, overall, uh, very good show, um, very great way to end it i am really interested in eventually watching better call saul we'll see if um if we watch that on the channel or not tbd yeah but really looking forward to it um so in regards to when you said you would like to see jesse set up i think the reason at the end it's just left with him driving it just represents his freedom and his choices mm-hmm. like he can he can go anywhere he can do anything and even the conversation that he had with Walt about him going to college that's just one of the many possibilities like he can live a normal life he doesn't have to be a criminal you know he, yeah. he can get into business he can apply his skills elsewhere uh and, and you know he might go live in a little house in Alaska now but in the future he could he potentially live somewhere else. He could find a new love interest, have kids. It, yeah, it's, it's very open ended. And yeah, I can tell that's by design, but um, that's just really me like nitpicking, right? It's it's just what I would like to see. Yeah. Um, as somebody that's become invested in these characters, like I would love to know what um what we're looking at for the case of, you know, the rest of Jesse's life. But that's just normal. There's nothing... The, the, the show didn't do anything wrong. There's an emphasis there. Like, it was very good. But it's just like, ah, uh, I wish I could have known a little bit more. You know? And that's... that's I feel like that's natural everywhere. But overall, I'm very happy with the way this show ended. I'm very happy that Jesse gets not exactly a happy ending, but he's alive. Right. That's what's important. Jesse's alive and he has a life to live after all of this. Yep. Whatever that looks like, maybe one day we'll find out, but not today. <laughs> all right. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Well, 
now that is the end of our Breaking Bad journey. Uh, until we watch Better Call Saul, whenever that may be. Uh, so, if you guys liked it, like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.